Hey, it's Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. Huge, hot topic this week. I found a great article on Dentistry IQ and it was written by a colleague and good friend of mine, Kevin Henry. Thank you, Kevin, for letting us colleagues know and now I'm just gonna spread this thing and go viral so Americans will not be misinformed or misguided. Here's the deal. President Obama is going to move forward in this medical device tax. Now you might say, okay, so what? What does that mean to us Americans, Anastasia? All right, here's the deal. The tax applies to manufacturers of medical devices and it equals 2.3% of the manufacturer's sales. The medical device tax is gonna affect dental laboratories from chair side milling, meaning they've got a lab inside, you can get crowns in that dental practice, to us sending out to labs for crowns, bridges, partials, dentures, um, athletic mouth guards, night guards, TMJ guards, um, or anything for your TMJ to sleep apnea. I mean, there's a whole slew of things we use laboratories for. The American Dental Association even stated that likely these costs are gonna trickle down into the dental practice where the patient is going to be the one to pay for this tax increase. Now you may say, oh, that's all great, Anastasia, but look, 2013, it's the Affordable Care Act, and we are all covered, because every American deserves health care insurance. I agree with you. Well, let's face it. If we can make it to 2013, and the Mayan calendar isn't wrong, here's what I want you to know. It's not the health insurance. It's dental insurance. And under Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act, dental insurance is not available to any adult American. Zero, nada, zip. What is though on a good side is the fact that kids are covered. Um, don't ask me on that one, but they definitely are gonna have oral health care, which is phenomenal. So the kids will have great smiles and the parents, uh, you know, hopefully something will happen where you can either save up to afford the care or your employers do have to offer you the fact that you can have dental health insurance and then you have to pay for it yourself. So good news is you're gonna have your health insurance. Bad news is dental health isn't considered essential within those elements. So even though it's related from diabetes to heart disease to ED to low birth weight and premature you know, babies, it doesn't matter. It's not considered essential. But the Surgeon General 12 years ago stated Look, we are having a silent epidemic with oral disease and dental disease among certain populations and certain groups in the United States. 12 years ago, we're still there. And most of those people were kids. Those kids are now adults and those adults won't have dental insurance. But I just wanted you to know what we're dealing with. And please don't be misled. Dental health insurance is not available for American adults under this act. Great news though is the kids are. I just hope this helped inform you to let you know what is going on in our industry and that it will affect the small business owners in the healthcare sector being the dental industry. Till next Wednesday, take what you learn, make a difference with it.